Dream, an auto theater piece by Lunchbox Theater. Children have been going missing. Cases opened at the police stations. Police have been running around trying to solve the cases, but alas, with nothing tangible. Now the communities are angry and demand arrest and justice for their loved ones. And today, the community of Shalagate has marched, singing their way to the local police station, where Captain Andres Spener van Weg is stormed with such cases. When a mother loses a child, her own child, her bone, flesh and blood, a child she so lovingly carried inside her, she lets rip. She lets rip that the hell fires stop fuming and puffing and blowing their flames and just keeps still. Dead silence. She lets rip that even earth itself stops pumping and breathing and just keeps still. Dead. Silent. Bright days turn to dark nights. The sweet yellow sun that once kissed her and said, You are a great mother, turns to a bleeding red moon that will always ask her, How dare you go to sleep without your child by your side? When a mother loses a child, her own child, her bone, flesh, and blood, a child she so lovingly carried inside her, she lets her up. There were many of these cases on my desk, and it was the many unsolved cases that brought the community to my police station that hot summer's morning. <laughs> Spokespersons and community at large, I would like to thank you all for coming here to your police station. As you all know, I am Captain Van Weyck. I am here to listen to what you have to say. And now, I am handing over to you. Thank you. Uh, thank you for receiving us in Shegaz. Shegaz is Panela. You know very well that we like you. We don't see you as a policeman, but we see you as one of us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shekaz, you are a good man, and we always appreciate your humanity. But guess, Panela, this is not on. We are not happy with the way you police do your jobs. We are not happy about this slow chameleon investigating speed. When our women and children live in fear. We are not happy with this randomly driving around in police vans, doing nothing, when we, the community, is unsafe. Mshagazi, we demand an arrest. We demand prosecution. We demand justice. Justice for all killed, physically and sexually abused, women and children. We demand safety and peace, Mshagazi Spanella. We are Captain Spanella Mshagazi. Follow your name. Put your spanner in the works. We have spoken. Thank you. Community members and community leaders, I thank you all for coming to me and for sharing your concerns and your frustrations with me. I have heard all that you have said and I truly understand everything you have said. I know safety and security is your right and that right is sometimes challenged and even compromised. I know that sometimes it looks like we are not doing our work with urgency we are not doing things at the speed you would like to see. But now, today, I promise you this, I will not rest on your cases. I will leave no stone unturned. I will bring down the might of the law. You will have your arrest. You will have your justice. And you will have your right to safety and security. Yeah. Yeah. Now, Go in love and in peace, knowing that I, your captain, have heard you. And know that the law has you in protection. <laughs>
Asanti sana Pamba nani Manya nani Pamba nani Pati sana Pamba nani Goodbye, Mete. I am done with the house, ma'am. I shall see you tomorrow. Please tell my near Spanella that I say thank you. Mama Ntombi, Mamela, Herman and I will be off in a few minutes to the police station when he's finished dressing. Andres forgot his lunchbox for tonight. <laughs> and we are taking it to him. What would men be without us, women? <laughs> <laughs> hey, ma'am. We are happy to save you time and give you a love home. Hi, can, ma'am. That is the truth. Lucas father can never survive a day without me. I'm <laughs> going a lift, madam. But I have a few things to pick up at the shops. I wouldn't like to delay you with my shopping. Besides, you know me. I like a healthy walk. <laughs> Thank you for another good day, ma'am. Goodbye. I understand. Well, thank you for your beautiful work. See you tomorrow, mama. Bye. Bye, madam. Please shut the door behind you. Eh, hey, we're meeting. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye, Hermanji. How? Look, still wearing a school uniform at this time, my boy. Hey, your mother will not be pleased. Ah uh ah. -uh. I'm waiting for Ubu, Nomna. Ubu, no. Open the house. Uluko is hungry. Luko. A Luca come over to my house. Ume Kazi cooked enough food for the whole soccer team. Come and eat with us. We have a lot of food to share. Ah uh ah, -uh. not with that Buno. I always eat with my sister. Where's Ubuno? She's gone. A man in a car took her. Oh, okay. Uh, if you're not going to come and eat, then I will come and play with you while we wait for her. Ah uh ah, -uh. not with that my sister. We always play with Ubuno Tin. Where exactly did you say Buno is? She's gone. A man in a car took her. Hello, Buyo. Hello, Mama. It's late, my boy. You must be in the house now. Yes, Mama. Goodbye, Luko. Bye, bye, Buyo. <laughs> Greetings to Umakazi and Lili. Yeah, Mama. And now, how do I get in if you stand in the gate? Sukawe. Why is the house locked? Where is your sister? She's gone. A man in a car took her. Hey, Wena. I can't hear you properly. Come inside. Sit down. Now, where is your sister? Where is Muno? She's gone. A man in a car took her. Whose car? Who is this man with a car you talk about? Kazawen? I, I don't know him, Mama. But he said he was a friend of Utata, and Utata asked him to take us to school in his car. Luko, your father always walks you to school. He never sends anyone to take you to school. And he has no friends with cars. Don't lie, child. Where did this man pick you up, and where was your father? Daddy received a call this morning after you left for work. This is my family time, Fundi. I'm not late. I know, big man, but I, I have a very big problem here. I can't find my set of keys, big man. I've looked everywhere. Oh, wait, Fundi. Uh, my princess, is your brother almost done dressing? Eh, what that? He is finished and packing his books in the bag. Uh, are you still there, big man? Uh, can, can you please just, just... Give me a moment here in Julube. I'm talking to my kids, man. Um, eh, Bono? Tell your brother that breakfast is ready in the kitchen. Your lunch boxes are on the table. Uh, and go sit that. You most welcome, my darling princess. Now go eat, my girl. Yeah, Julube, I'm back. What are you saying? Can you please come early before the bosses arrive? I don't want them to know that I have lost the office keys again. You know, but I have two written warnings already. I can't lose this job, big man. <laughs> yeah. Only because I don't want you to be unemployed. I'm coming over right now. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much, big man. Your children are kind. I thank them for their understanding also. See you just now then. Bye. Bye. And my children, there is an emergency at work and I must leave immediately. 
I'm so sorry that I cannot walk you to school this morning. Get your school bags now. It's okay, Dada. We are ready, Dada. Now, listen carefully. I want you to walk with your schoolmates, especially the big ones. Stay in the front and in their eyes. Okay, my angels? We'll do as you say, Dada. Hey, that. Good. Oh, here comes the taxi. Go well. I will see you later when I come back from work. Bye-bye. Bye, Dada. And remember, walk in the eyes of the others. He said we will be safe if we walk with, with older children. And now my sister is gone. Buno is gone. A man in the car took her. <laughs> to where did he take her? Speak, child! I, I don't know, Mama. I don't know. W when we got to the school, he grabbed Buno and said, We only want girls for now. I grabbed Buno by her hand, trying to pull her out of the car. He smacked my hand so hard and shouted angrily, Get out of my car! I tried again to pull Ubuno so we can jump out of the car together. Only when I was out, I noticed that I just pulled her doll out. Not her. The men closed the car door violently and shouted, I will come for you when we want boys. And the car disappeared in a cloud of dust with Ubuno crying for help. Uno is gone. The man in the car took her. Did you tell anyone at school? No, Mom. Why not? Because I thought she was coming back. Oh, Bosia. Oh, Bosia. And you fool. How can you not tell the difference between your sister and this stupid dog? I'm, I'm so sorry, Mama. What kind of a brother are you? I'm so sorry, Mama. What kind of a man are you? I, I'm so sorry, Mama. Mama, Mama Meza is calling you outside. You are useless, just like your father. I'm so sorry, Mama. Mama Meza is calling you, Mama. Captain Spanner? Ah, Detective Levotko. Now listen, Detective, I have been looking for you, young man. I need you to speed up your investigation of your gender-based violence cases and hand those reports to me soonest. Okay? Yeah, sure. All work and no play makes Banner dull. What does he think he is? My boss. <sighs> hey, I heard that. I'm serious, detective. Reports on my desk by the end of the week. It was then that I got a message on my cell phone as I was getting into my van for my patrol rounds. Probably just my wife. You know most the wife thing always checking up on their husband. Did you have enough sleep? Don't want you falling asleep behind the steering wheel. And did you arrive safe and on time at work? <laughs> and did you take your lunch from the fridge? Don't forget to warm it up. Spaghetti tastes horrible when it's eaten cold. Oh, and tell that Mark boy to give you the best seat when you want to take a nap. You are his superior for Pete's sake. <laughs> hey, I listened to the message. It was a voice note from Mum and Tombi. Mum and Tombi, the lady who helps us at home. I didn't even know she had my number. She always communicates house things with my wife, not me. Why would she send me a message? I was curious, so I pressed play, put the phone to my ear and listened to the message many times. The message was all screams and crying and I couldn't make out a single word. I'll phone my wife later and see if she knows something or has heard anything. I started my van and drove off. You know, my neighbors can end up dying while I'm busy shouting through the windows. And people will ask, what kind of a neighbor am I? Ah, Sana! And these people can talk. When do I When do I what is going on? Why so much noise? And why are you crying? Hey, what's going on, Mama? It's Buna, miss. 
My child has been stolen. You! She, she has been taken by a stranger in a car this morning, Mez. My child is stolen, Mez. My child is stolen. You, Isa, come. Let's leave Uluka with Vuyo in my house. Luca, Luca, Isa, come, my boy, come. You stay with Vuyo for a while. We must go and search for your sister. When and don't be, you lock your house. Vuyo. Hey, my cousin. You stay in the house with your friend. We are going to look for Ubono. And you do not answer any knocks at the door. I have my keys. Yandiv, do you hear me? Hey, my cousin. Yes? Maybe someone saw something, heard something, or maybe someone knows something. Hi, everyone! Batali! Neighbors! Izani Nonke! Come in numbers and help! Mama and Dombi's daughter has been taken by a stranger in a car! We need to find her! Izani Nadani! You know, Fazindi, tell me, why is the world calling you to out and about? What is going on? Wena, you're not a real man. You're just a man because of that beard hanging off your chin. I don't want to talk to you. Go back to your precious work. Move, Kosuke man. I will. What wrong did I do? Yes, what is going on? Oh, Dadagaluko, your little girl is missing Meza. She has been taken by a stranger in a car this morning. What? My Bono? Hey, wait. And Luko? Oh, this stressed little Luko is safe in my house with his best friend. Oh, thank you, Mez. Thank you, Mez. Hey, let's join the search. Have you seen my daughter? Her name is Mokaja. She's 10 years old. She goes to Koboha Primary. She carries a red bag. She's the only child who still carries a teddy bear to school. Oh, Kolo, Mama. I don't know her, but I have not seen her today. Tell you what, I will get a car and my husband and we'll go search around the main road. I would appreciate that. And go. Moro Mlegas, have you seen my daughter? I kama laki ngubu no kaj. Wune mi nyaga elishumi. Uamba iskolo e kobo ha primari. Upata upaka obovu eskoni. We are yet to amdwana so patu teddy bear eskoni. Kame ni mbo wone mlegas. Let me put my pants in the house and help with the search. Oh, your help would mean a lot of mlegas wang. Diabule. Buna, it's Meza, my girl. Come to Meza, Buna. Buna, 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 it's your father, my princess. Come to Georgia, my girl. Buna, Buna, it's your mother, my child. Come to me, my girl. Buna, 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 Buna. It's amazing how a bad incident can bring people together. These people's cultures have been stripped and robbed and broken into a thousand different pieces. Their Ubuntu, spirit of humanity, dehumanized, and their wealth of norms and values and beliefs that have always made them unique and special, discouraged. Divide and rule. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I, I'm not saying it's all gone and forgotten. You can still taste the community in their traditional ceremonies, in the weddings and the funerals, and even the way they sit around drinking in the shabins and taverns. But my God, I have never seen it work as well as it does in the hunt and search for a missing child. It's true, it takes a whole community to raise a child, but someone out there was not playing the same game. This little girl was missing and was nowhere to be found. And that was my emergency call. After calming down the community, I went back to my office. And when I got there... I'm sorry, Captain. But they insisted on seeing you in your office. Thank you, Mark. Numsan, please help me. Mama and Tommy, what's wrong? What are you doing here? And who is this man? I'm a husband, Chagas. Please to find the meeting you in person. 
Likewise, in course. The husband who gave away his daughter to a stranger with a car. You, you mean to tell me that that little girl the whole township is searching for is your daughter? Yes, Mumza. I see you come, Her name is Buno. She's only 10 years old, Mumza. And that is why we are here in the reporting an incident of a missing child and ask for your assistance in finding our daughter. We're not here to report some missing child. We are here to open a case of my missing daughter. I want the law to take its course. The law must find the man who abducted my daughter and he must be sentenced to life serving really hard time in jail. I want that filthy animal never see the outside again. Never, ever. I hear you, Mama. But the law has its procedures. We need to take this step by step. Step uh, by step? <laughs> How are these men of today, eh? The man who stole my daughter is not taking it step by step. He is running and running very fast. Actually, he's driving. That is why Luko says... We have to get into the van now and chase behind him before he kills my daughter. As a friend, Mama, I see your tears and I feel your pain. But as a man of the law, I must follow the right procedures. Procedures? <laughs> what procedures, Mumsa? Yeah? Murderers see no tears, murderers feel no pain, and murderers follow no procedures, Mumsa. My Buno will die waiting for you to follow your procedures. I call him Mumsa. It's not his procedures, Mama. It's the law. Talapanzi Doho. What do we do now, Mumsa? Thank you, Uncle Guys. First, I need to ask you some questions, then you need to give me some answers. Okay, it's fine, Clarice. So what time was Buna last seen and with whom was she? I always walk the children to school myself. Buno and her eight-year-old brother, Luko. We are always out of the house and on the road by 7.30. The walk to their school is about 30 minutes long. So I think she was last seen between 7.30 and 7.45. You say between 7.30 and 7.45. Why not between 7.30 and say 7.50? If the car picked them up outside our house, as Luko says, then the 30 minutes walk to the school will be about 15 minutes in a car. Mm. Now you said you always walk your children to school yourself, right? Yeah, yes. Now this morning, the morning that your daughter goes missing, you didn't walk them. Mm. Why? Mm -hmm. I clean offices at work. There are two cleaners, myself and Julube. He does the night shift and I do the day shift. And we are the only ones with the office keys. So, this morning, the morning that my daughter went missing, Unchulube phoned me and asked me if I could come in early as he had lost his keys and, and could not leave the offices unlocked. As a good man, I agreed. I told the kids and warned them to walk with older children. I was very sure they would be safe. What was Buno wearing? Here is her photo, Mumza. And don't you dare tell me I must uh, wait 24 uh, uh, hours. Yeah, Mama. I yeah. don't have 24 hours, Mumza. My Buno yeah. doesn't have 24 hours. She'll be yeah, dead Mama. before that 24 hours is 24 hours. Yeah. If you're not going to do something, I am going to do it myself. Oh. Buno! Buno! Thank you, Numzan. I'm so sorry about my wife's behavior. Sukawe! Numzan, Captain, how do you think I will live that 24 hours without my Buno? Mama. Yeah, Numzan, uh, ma ma I don't have 24 mama, hours, mama, Numzan. Mama, 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 Mela, Mama. You don't have to wait 24 hours anymore. The law has changed. Oh. We've already started the search. Oh. Numzan, tell Madam I am not coming to work until my Buno is found. She's gone, but I can still hear her heavy footsteps vibrating on the wooden floors, down the hallway, into my office, up my legs and into my heart. I can still hear her crying out, Boo, no! Herman! Hello, darling. Listen, I left your lunchbox with that Mark boy. I told him to guard it with his life. I don't trust that Villa Volto guy. I thank you, my Scott. Listen, is Herman there? Yeah, Scott. Is he in his room sleeping? Yeah, Boki. Okay. Did you lock the whole house? Of course, darling. 
You sound very stressed. Are you okay, babe? Yeah, it's 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 nothing. Thank you, Miss Kat. Listen, Mum and Tombi's daughter is missing, and she said she won't be coming back to work until she's found her. That is horrible, darling. Poor Mum and Tombi. I just saw her today. I know. I I, I know. I, I'll tell you all about it when I get home. Listen to me carefully, Andres van Vijk. You find Mum and Tombi's daughter. You hear me, Andres? We will. Get your leaf for. Bye. If anyone touches my son, my Herman. I'll put a bull. I am a policeman. I can't take the law into my own hands. This country will be crazy if anyone takes law into their hands. Law keeps order. Law keeps control. But what about the heart? How do you control the bleeding heart? I understand. I am a parent too and I love my boy. Ugh. I just wish that she's found soon, otherwise... Ek weet nie. Luko! Luko is a sibuile! How did it go at the police station, Mamando? Oh, the police have started with the search, miss. Oh, Ngosiba. Let's hope for the best. Hi, Kev. Good night, Chomi. Ham Luko. Sit right in front of me. I want to talk to you. Hey, well, ma'am. As from now, things will change in this house, my boy. We have searched everywhere for your sister, and we couldn't find her. We've been to the police station, and they have already started with their own search for her. Let's pray your sister is found, Dana. I will also pray, ma'am. That would be good, my boy. As from tomorrow, you're not going to school. Mama, I want to go... Tomorrow, you're not going to play with Uvuyo. But Mama, playing with Uvuyo... You are going to stay in this house. You will not leave these four walls. But Mama, Udata says I must go to school and become a doctor so, so that I can save lives. Hey, your father wanted your sister to be a policewoman so she can protect the people. Where is she now? Eh? Did your father protect her from Uta Doemot? No, he didn't protect her. Did the people protect her from a child stealing man? No, they didn't protect her. I, your mother, will protect you and save your life. Who will protect me, Mama, when you're at work? I'm not going to work until your sister is found. But if I'm not here, the padlock on the door will protect you. But this is not fair, Mama. I want to go to school. No. I want to go outside and play with you for I your mama. No, Luko. You're Call right. your father. I'm done with you you're in your bedroom right now. Daughter? Yeah. Yes, sir. All of this is your fault. My daughter is gone because of you. My daughter is not sleeping in her bed, in her house, because of you. My daughter is not here with me, her mother, because of you. Before you are a worker, you are a parent, but you chose your work before your own child. You chose your colleague before your daughter, and now she is gone. You gave her away. Just pray that she is found. Otherwise, hey, and yes. Tell me, Mfazindi, do you hear yourself talk? Do you really hear what you are saying? Very well. How do you think all of this makes me feel? I don't care. Now, this is what is going to happen. Because you love your work so much. From now on, you are going to work and provide for me and Uluko. Mna, I will stay here at home with my son and be a father, a mother, and a parent. And me? What will I be? A provider. You mean your ATM machine? If that's how you want to put it, yes. Tell me, is there love in all of this? Love bigger than you can ever imagine. A love sacrifice for my son. Do you call jailing our son love? 
If that's what it means to keep him safe, yes. And me? What about you? Do you still need me? Do you still want me? Do you still love me? You have completely lost it. You are going to right now. I'm going to pack my bags and leave in the morning. I cannot stand this madness anymore. I cannot stand here and watch you imprison our son in his own home. I will send the money. Good night, my child, wherever you are. Good morning, my child, wherever you are. Today, I'm leaving our home, but I'm not abandoning my search for you, my daughter. Look at my son. I'm so sorry. One day, you will be a man too, and you will understand this. Luko! Hey. Well, well, Luko! Morning, Chami! Hey, good morning, my friend! Hey, hey, there's a fire on the mountain! Run, run! There's a fire on the mountain! Hey. Uno's turn. Oh, Buno. I hope she's all right. Hey, oh, are you ready for school? Hey, today we're doing artwork. Your favorite? No, Vuyo. I'm not going to school anymore. Umam has locked me up in the house. Oh. She's afraid of Utada Wemoto. Hi. I am sorry, Chomi. Here, catch. You can play with my car. Oh, thank you. Vuyo? Vuyo? Almost time to go, boy. Bye, your mom. I see you after school. Bye-bye. Hey, I'll bring your artwork, papers and pencils Bye-bye. when I come back. Okay, Chami. Luko, you close that window. Eh? Makabun, any news about your daughter? Hey, nothing. Still living in hope, mom. I see. Don't you think you should consult a Sanguma, Makabun? Maybe the Sanguma can speed up things. Hi. Utolo, Mama. Let's allow the police to do their work. You should try other things also. For your daughter's sake. True. But sometimes, Mama, we don't need to mingle with the way of the law, as it might obstruct the justice. And that can easily get us into trouble also. Utolo, Mama. Hello, Mtlekas. Hello, Mama. I'm just phoning to check how you're holding up. Hey, Mtlekas. Eh, I don't know, Mtlekas. I, I, I seem to have entered a, a new phase in my life. I don't know what it is. I don't even know if it's a phase of grief or, or just a normal phase. It feels like a phase of darkness, a phase of nothingness. A condo, but a corner. A phase where I am forced to do something, but I close my eyes and visit these strange places. These places, they are not peaceful places. These places are full of beautiful, innocent children with tears running down their cheeks, crying and screaming for, for help. Come oh, on, Sorry for putting my trouble on you. Don't be. I, I'm not an expert, but it does sound like you need to see a professional therapist. We can arrange one through the police station. Oh, I, I must go, Mama. Stay well. And remember, you are not alone, Mama. The community is here with you. I'll be in touch soon. Stay strong, yeah? Yeah? Mama and Dombi? You are still here. Will you not be late for work? <sighs> oh, shame. I understand, Ndombi. I would feel the same if I lost Uvo, Yawam. I saw your husband going out with bags and leaving alone. Eh? Upuluk, 
He is locked in the house. Ah, Ndombi, you are not doing what I think you are doing. Eh, hey, what do you think I'm doing? Well, robbing a child of his future. Without a life, there is no future. You are taking Lugo's right to education, Ndombi. Hey, you tell that to the man who abducted my daughter. He took away Buno practicing her right to education. And he's the one who's taking away Lugo's right to education. And not me. You're a permanent and fast engine. Turn up back. Are you going to call it? Oh, you need miss. Oh, Tiko, I'm so sorry, miss. I'm so sorry. I don't know what is happening to me. Follow, miss. You? He's that boy. Come, come. Masambe, we will be late for school. Good morning, Mum. Morning, Tegas. After our phone call, I thought I'd better swing past and let you know that the search is going very well. We have sent your daughter's picture out to all the media, to all the schools, all the healthcare institutions, community organizations and all the neighboring police stations. Everyone is looking for your daughter. We are positive that we will get a lead. And Mama, more than 70% of all the children who are lost are found again. So don't lose hope, Mama. Oh. And he has the number for the councillor. Mama, mm? have they found my sister? Hey, close that window. Eh? Hey, Luko, come, come here, my boy. I have some toys for you from Herman. I'm not allowed outside. <laughs> Is your boy okay, Mama? I will take them. Thank you, Mnumza. Oh, good. You have yourself a good day. I'll keep you informed of all the developments. Oh, and Mama. Mnumza. My wife sends her greetings, love and prayers. Thank you, Mnumza. Go away. For months and months, we searched and searched everywhere. We talked with people everywhere. We followed each and every lead we received, but we could not find them. Gradually, my team lost hope and finally the case went cold. And soon I was alone, still looking for her. But this wasn't just another case. If what they say is true, then my son and all the other children are also in danger. Whoever is responsible for this must be taken out of the community. But then something very strange began to happen. I didn't believe in it at first, but I must say, it changed the course of the case and left me a different man. It all began at Mum and Tombi's house. Where is my sister's doll? Teddy, where are you? Where are you, Miss Teddy? Ah, there you are. Yes, Teddy, I want my class, I wish you could talk. I remember when Ubuna was here. I would talk to you and Buna would speak for you. It's so lonely here without her. I don't get to talk to anyone. But Mama is here. I don't get to see anyone. Only if we are through the window. But Mama is here. And Mama is too busy to talk, Teddy. Sometimes I doubt if she even sees me. If I was the size of an ant, she would easily step on me. I am here. Why can't you see me? Why can't you hear me? You, Teddy, overhead Vuyo's mama celebrating that Vuyo has passed his grade. And Imna, I'm stuck here in this house with a hateful mother. Don't say that. She doesn't love me, Teddy. Mama loves you, Luko. Mama imprisoned me in our own home like a dog. Mama gave up everything for you, Luko. She gave up her job for your safety. She sacrificed the love for Utata Wetu for your love. How can you not see that? And now I'll have to repeat the same grade because of Umama. Umama teaches you so much. Things you are not taught at school. Look at you. You can now make your own breakfast. You can make your own bed. You can wash your own clothes and you always remember to brush your teeth. That is education. You have passed. Just like Uvui. I've never seen you so independent. I like it. I hate myself. I hate my mother. I hate this house. 
And what I would hate the most is to lose how Ubono looks like in my mind. Yo, Teddy, I miss Utada. I miss how we talked as he held our hands walking us to school. Yo, I remember Ganyimini, he had me on his shoulders and Ubuno in his arms. He tripped, fell and hurt his knee trying to protect us. Yo, I wonder if I'm the reason he's leaving home. Teddy, do you think I'm the reason? Luko? Mama? Luko, who are you talking to? No one, Mama. Speaking alone is a sign of madness. Hey, oh, Mom. Look, do you know what is a crocodile? I've never seen one alive, but uh, I know it, Mom. What exactly do you know about crocodile? A crocodile is the animal that gives a big warm smile, but behind that warm smile lies death. <laughs> okay, Gemdanam, let me tell you a story. There was a mother crocodile who laid her eggs in the nest by the beach. Yeah, she knew that her eggs were in great danger from the monitor lizard. You see, the lizard enjoyed the sweet, tasty eggs and he would always steal them. And so, mother crocodile sat near the nest day and night protecting her eggs. When they were finally hatched, she collected all her hatchlings in her mouth and released them in the river, where she knew they would live a free but safe life in her watch and guidance. It's a beautiful story, ma'am. You stand. You are the eggs. This house is the nest. The man who stole your sister is the monitor lizard. And me? I'm the mother crocodile protecting you. Yo, oh, Mama is clever. I'm going out to get us some dinner. And you enjoy your artwork. Oh, look, I love your drawings. Hey. Mama? Yes, my son. Where is the river? What river? The free river for the hatchlings. Hey, look. You see, Teddy, she's gone and left me alone again with only a padlock on the door protecting me. So she says, I always have strange feelings and visit in this house. I see shadows, I hear voices. I see shadows hiding behind the furniture and voices coming down the hallway. They come at any time of the day as a kitty, no baku se mini, no baku se suku. Ziyaz, food is ngami. One day I heard this loud noise in my ear and I screamed, Mama! I fell and hit my head on a box. The noise disappeared. I pulled the box out slowly and opened it. Inside the box were two letters from my father. One was addressed to me and the other one to my mother. I don't understand why you are fighting each other and don't know who is wrong or right. right. But, but I, want I want you, you to know, know that, that the woman I fell in love with, your mother, is a good, loving woman. You may not see her because you are looking at only one side of life. My son, sometimes life is sweet, sometimes it is sour, and sometimes it has hurdles. Now, when you come to your hurdle, my boy, stop, think and use your head, not your heart. Your heart has no reason, but your head does. Always think when it comes to your mother and learn to see the world in her eyes. Some children have no mothers. You are lucky you still have yours. Always apologize, appreciate and love your mother as much as I love you. Stay well and, and keep, keep safe. safe. Your, your loving father. I kept the box hidden. No one else must see these letters. These letters are mine. Luko! Luko! Open the window, Wena! I'm back! Hola, Vuyo! Where have you been? <laughs> At school, Wena! Polo, oh, Chomi! You lose track of time and days if you don't go anywhere. Sorry, my friend. Hi, Vuyo! You never told me anything about your new friends and your new grade. <laughs> what new friends, Wena? You mean you don't have friends in your new grade? No, I, I, I don't have friends at school. 
Just my classmates. You and Bruno are my only f I will Bruno. Hi, hi, hi. It's late when. Buyo. Greetings to Umaka's engine. Hey, Mom. Bye bye, Luko. Oh, bye bye, Buyo. Luko. I thought it would be late to cook when I get back. So, I got us some takeaways. Can you please help me with the plates? Eh, hey, mom. And I got your favorite. Oh, I'm so full. That was a tasty dinner. Mama. Tanam. I'm sorry, mom. What did you say? I'm so sorry about the way I'm behaving, Mama. Oh, come here, you brave little loco. Come, let's go to bed, my son. Good night. Good night, ma'am. Teddy, it's time. You must sleep. I'm so sorry, Boon. Good night. Voice of my sister? Oh no? Is that you? Yes, look over here. Oh, it's me. Oh, oh no, my sister. It's really you. You are back. I missed you. Where have you been this long? I must say, I was actually unsure of coming here. I had no idea how would you react, but my love for you and my sympathy for the other children forced me to come. Yo, oh, Bruno, so much has happened here. Utata left. Mama is locking me. I know me. all of that, Luko. I know. Listen, the children are not safe. The man is back. What man? The man who stole me. And you must help to find him. How can I do that? I don't remember. You saw him, Luko, the day he stole me. I don't remember how he looks like, Sissy. I can't remember him. Yes, you do. Stop using your heart and use your head. Now you sound just like our father. Stop. Think. Close your eyes and remember. Okay, okay. Now, let's go back to that morning in the car. What do you see? Oh, oh, oh yes, oh yes, I see him, Sissy. And, and I see you sitting next to me in the back seat. What else do you see? I see you panicking and the man looking at you in the mirror smiling. What else? I see him grabbing you and shouting at me too. Get out of my car! Can you see oh, his face? Oh, oh no, Sissy, oh no. His eyes are full of fire. I don't want to look at him. Can you see beyond your fears? Be brave and look at him, Luko. Okay, okay, okay. Now I see him. I see him, Sissy. <laughs> Luko. Luko. Leona, Luko. Mama. What Mama. is wrong, my boy? Why are you crying and who are you talking to? I'm talking to Buna, Mom. Buna is not here, my boy. Buna is home, Mama. She has come back home. I was talking to her. Ask Teddy. Luko, please, my boy. Please stop it. Why are you doing this to me? I know you miss your sister. And I miss her too, my boy. It is my everyday prayer that she is found and come home. But she is home, mama. Luko, stop it, Wena, man. I'm going back to sleep and so are you. Bruno, Bruno, where are you? Ubi Sisi? I'm here. Why did you make me look like a mad person, Kumama? Why didn't you show yourself? Old people have lost a lot in their growth. They are no longer like kids. They cannot see what we see. Come, Luko, our work is not done. You must finish what we started. Oi, 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 not again, Sisi, please. While you were busy arguing with Umama, I was busy following Utatawe Moto. And he is now back in his car, driving around, searching for his next. Uh, do you want to be next? No. Uvuya? No, no. Other children? No. Okay, let's do it. Close your eyes and go back to the point after he had just pushed you out of the car. What do you see? 
Now the car is driving fast. I see you pushing the back window with your fist. You, you are crying and, and, and screaming for help. What else do you see? Oh. What color is the car? Uh, it's blood red. Can you see the registration number? Yes, yes, yes. I see it, see, see. Oh, I see it, see, see. <laughs> You did very well, and I'm very proud of you. Now, draw the picture of Utadawe Moto and write the registration number of his car and give it to Mama. Aimo, why are you quiet? Is everything okay, sissy? I'm fine, my brother. You have been such a brave young man, and I'm so proud of you. I must go now, my brother. I will see you soon then. Right, my sister? Tell Mama I love her. Oh, Luko? Don't worry. I will get our father to come back home. Stay well and keep safe, Putuang. <laughs> Mama Wam, wake up, Vuka! Wake up and smell a new fresh breath of air. It's a beautiful day. Ay, Boluko. Which side of your bed did you wake up on? Happy spirits? How's <laughs> off, Winje? Mama, this is your letter from my father. Your father? Ay, Boluko. That sounds like that poor Lisa Mama outside calling your name. Come, let's go to him, Mama. Okay, let's go. Morning, Ndombi. Ah, morning, Luka. You're outside today, eh? Ah, good morning, Captain. Uh, morning, Mama Ndombi. Uh, hello, Mesa. I, I was afraid you were not at home. Oh, hello, Luka. Morning to the police. Here, this is a picture of the man who stole my sister. And this is a registration number of the car that took her. Wait, I know. I think I've seen a car looking like that. And that face looks kind of familiar. Where did you get these, my boy? From Buhuno. Mama, we say yeah. Mesa, could you please take Luko for Umzuzwananje? With pleasure. Masa ambe Luko. Mama, Mza. I've not given up on your case. I know, Mnumza. You have a good day, Mama and Tombi. Goodbye. You too, Mnumza. Goodbye. Luko, come. Coming, Mama. Listen, I am going to sit in the lounge and read your father's letter. Why did you give those nonsense papers to Captain? Don't you know that he is a busy man? They will help me with Buno's case, Mama. Eh, You with your funny things. Okay, I'm sure you can help me with a cup of tea also. Of course, Mama Wam. Best cup of tea coming up for a special mother. And go see my son. To the most amazingly beautiful woman I have ever known. You are my world, my life, and my love. My world has no meaning without you in it. You are my today, my tomorrow, and my everlasting. My life has no purpose without you by my side. I love you more than anything. I miss home, I miss you, I miss our children. You know my number. I would, I would love, love to, to hear, hear your voice from your loving husband. Here is your tea, mama. Thank you very much, my child. Come here, my boy. Just received a text message from Utata Police. Oh, sit down, my boy. I want to talk to you. I believe it is time for my mother crocodile to put her hatchling in the free river. Hi, really, Mama? <laughs> but first, the hatchling must promise to be safe at all times and that the hatchling will never, ever go with strangers. Hi, I promise, Mom. Good, my son. I think we should have a code that only you and me will know. If anyone approaches you to take you somewhere and cannot tell you the code, you scream and run. It is a very good thought, Mama. I like it. And our code will be Buno Kacha. Oh, it's a good code, Mdanam. And goes, now let's go to the police station. Um Numzana has news about your sister.
This morning, my boy asked me if Father Christmas, the Tooth Fairy or the Easter Bunny are real. I told him, I no longer believe in them because I am all grown up now. But he asked again. He said, Daddy, are they real? I said, if you believe in them, then they are real for you. I don't know what has happened to me. All I know is that I have lost my inner child. I wanted to believe. So we ran the material Luca gave us through the system and we spoke to everyone in the community. That drawing had a match to one in Chalube Siso. And the registration number belonged to a car owned by one in Chalube Siso. We had our man. I, Captain Andries Spanner van Wijk, has done my job. Come in. Mom and Tommy, Luco, please take a seat. Thank you very much for coming. Uh, Mom and Tommy, we are on the trail of one in Chalube Siso, who we believe to be our main suspect for the abduction of Buno. And we found the school bag we believe to be our daughter's. Here it is, Mama. It is my daughter's school bag. Thank you very much, Mumzan. Is she alive? We don't know yet, Mama. But we will know soon, thanks to Luko. Recorded at Garden Road Media Studios. Directed by Ntantam Kwanazi and Stuart Park. Written by Ntantam Kwanazi and Amanda Valela. Songs by Mnetizi Mapiko Ngetani. Performed by Mnetizi Mapiko Ngetani. Amanda Valela, Stuart Palmer, Sisi Potrata, and Ngosinati Kipul. With thanks to the Department of Sport, Arts and Culture. For more info and audio theatre, visit lunchbox.org.za